In today's episode, we'll look into top 10 reasons for leaf yellowing and leaf browning or burning at tips and edges along with the solutions. And we'll also show you a few related simple gardening tricks and hacks to treat these problems. Coming up. When you see leaves of your plants turning yellow or burning or browning at its tips or edges, it's time to investigate and find out the possible cause and solution to it. You must be aware of these problems and solutions to keep your plants stress-free and healthy. The first broad diagnosis that should come to your mind is, your plant is in stress. And then you further start investigating and finding out the exact reason for this problem. Please watch this episode till the end and we'll start listing the top 10 reasons for this problem in descending order. On number 10, natural aging of the plant. This is one obvious reason for yellow leaves. If you see older leaves, especially at the bottom of the plant turning yellow, just ignore it. This is not a reason to worry. On number 9, pest attacks. Sucking pests like aphids, mealybugs, white flies, thrips and mites can damage the leaves and can cause yellowing of leaves. You know, prevention is better than cure. These can be easily prevented or even treated organically using neem oil spray regularly for treatment as well as prevention. Spray neem oil once every 15 days as a preventive measure and weekly once or even twice for treatment of these pests. You can watch my detailed episode on neem oil from a link in the description below. On number 8, root bound plants. Root bound plant means that the roots of the plant have completely taken up the space within the pot, often circling and creating a dense web of roots. This can stress the plant and deprive it of nutrients, air and water and this can result in leaf yellowing and even stunted growth of the plant. Just repot the plant in a larger container or carefully perform root pruning if you wish to use the same container. On number 7, Transplant Shock. This is another reason for leaf yellowing and even leaf drop. This is the period of stress to the plant when you just repot a plant. You can solve this to a certain extent by repotting your plant carefully and after repotting for the next one week, keep the plant in shade away from direct sunlight. Water the plant once thoroughly with Epsom salt solution to counter this transplant shock. Like 5 to 10 grams of Epsom salt per liter of water is the recommended dosage. You can watch my detailed episode on the 10 golden rules of repotting a plant from a link in description below. Well, on number 6. Fertilizer overuse. If you observe a strange pattern to yellowing of leaves like if the veins of the leaves are green and the tissue is getting yellow or the edges or tips are yellow or looking like burnt along with bud drop off or fruit drop off then it is mostly due to fertilizer misuse. Commonly overuse of fertilizers is the problem so it is important to use fertilizer only at the recommended dosage. This problem is more common with the use of chemical fertilizers like urea, DAP or NPK granules and not a problem with organic fertilizers. And moreover, people tend to use too much fertilizer on their plants to make them grow faster, especially the newbie gardeners. But what it actually does is, it creates a toxic effect on the plants which burns the leaves and turns them yellow. On number 5, high soil pH that is too alkaline soil. This can be one of the reasons for leaves turning yellow. This is little difficult to diagnose unless you have a soil pH testing gadget. This simple pH testing gadget will give you a rough idea about the soil pH, whether it's acidic or alkaline soil. Most plants need a slightly acidic pH of around 6.5 for best absorption of nutrients. All related videos, links in the description below. Well, on number 4, temperature. Leaves start turning yellow when it is either too hot or too cold. In terms of the cold temperatures like for example the adenium plants, the leaves start yellowing in winter and eventually fall off and the plant goes into the dormant state in winter. This is called winter dormancy and this applies to many other plants as well. Then on number 3, sunlight. Reduced exposure to sunlight is another common reason for plant leaves to turn yellow because not enough light is reaching the plant for photosynthesis. Similarly, too much exposure to hot direct sun is another common reason for the tips and edges of the leaves to turn dry and brown. This can be corrected easily by knowing your plant by its name or at least whether it is a sun-loving plant or a shade-loving plant. 
Knowing a plant by its name is really important to learn about its care tips, especially its light requirement and then you provide optimum exposure to the sunlight. A simple free app to know a plant ID is Google Lens app provided by Google. You can watch a detailed episode on this topic from a link in the description below. Well, on number 2, improper watering. We'll discuss this in detail. Please watch this carefully to understand the concepts. Improper watering can present as either leaf yellowing or leaf drying or leaf burning at tips and edges. The most common reason that the plant leaves turn yellow is because of moisture stress which can be either overwatering or underwatering. Similarly, the most common cause for brown leaf tips or brown edges on leaves is the plant not getting enough water. I repeat, the plant not getting enough water which can be due to several reasons apart from you not watering the plant adequately. First of all, check whether you are adequately watering the plant by checking the soil surface for moisture by dipping one or two inches of your finger. If you are forgetting to water the plant, rectify this problem immediately, especially for water loving plants. But this does not mean that you have to overwater them, which is actually more dangerous than underwatering and can result in root rot. Then secondly, the roots may be constricted and unable to pick up or absorb the water adequately, especially in container gardening. Also, too much clay rich soil is another cause for constricting the roots tightly. So, increasing the watering to resolve this issue is, is not the solution because there is a possibility of root rot with overwatering. Hence, the best solution to this is to repot the plant in a larger container and in a loose, well draining soil. A simple hack to get rid of clayey soil while repotting your plant is to soak the clay rich root ball for few minutes in a bucket of water to dissolve this soil and then repot this in a well draining soil. Then thirdly, the soil does not hold the water and drains out too quickly. This is another reason. If your soil is too much sandy or over draining soil with lots of sand, the water may simply be draining away too fast and this may be causing water deficiency and brown edges on the leaves. Improve the soil with other stuff like organic material and, and by mixing some garden soil and also other stuff like coco peat, vermiculite, perlite, etc. which will hold on to the water better. An ideal well draining soil is the one which drains out neither too quickly nor too slowly. A simple and a rough test to check whether your soil is perfectly well draining is when you thoroughly water your plant, it should drain out of the drainage hole in about 1 to 2 minutes, neither too quicker nor too late. Fourthly, the roots may be damaged, like while digging or even repotting or too much root pruning of a root bound plant. This can cause root damage and reduce the water uptake. In this case, correct the problem which is causing the root damage and then do some good pruning on the plant branches to reduce its watering requirement so that the root system recovers from this stress. Then the fifth reason for the sides of a leaf to turn brown is high salt content of the soil. Either using hard water that is salty water to water the plant or overuse of fertilizers. To overcome this problem, start watering with soft water and also if you have over fertilized, flush the pot with large amounts of soft water, keeping it in sunlight and properly opening the drainage holes of the container so that the salty water or the fertilizer flushes out easily out of the pot. One simple common sense hint here for watering is generally indoor plants are more prone to overwatering and outdoor plants are more prone to underwatering. Then on number one is leaf chlorosis due to nutritional deficiency, either due to poor quality potting soil or absorption issues due to improper soil pH. Lack of uptake of major and minor nutrients in the plant like nitrogen and also certain mineral deficiencies like iron, manganese, zinc and others can cause unique leaf yellowing patterns. You can watch my detailed episode on diagnosing these various patterns of leaf yellowing from this end screen link displayed right here. Please like, share and comment below with your feedback and queries. Happy gardening!